Hi, I'm Marta with Students Supporting Israel, and today we begin our journey at Ivy League campuses. We are here to discover what students from the top universities in the nation have to say about Israel. Who are you guys anyway? We're students supporting each other. Is that an organization? Organization with 46 campuses across the country. From UCLA, from Columbia, from UPenn, to Texas A&M. I mean, it's not even vague. It's literally just less biased. Like, you're literally like calling people terrorists. This is the sellers Palestinians who kill Jews get. This is not a bias. This is the reality on the ground. If I, kill, if I kill the Jew in Israel, I'm getting fed. I get an the seller. Currently, the Israeli state perpetrates ethnic cleansing and genocide of the Palestinian mm -hmm. people. We cannot listen to people like this, and we have to get them off our campus. Get, get signs like this, and, and movements like this, and initiatives like this off of our campus. It's disgusting. If someone has questions, I'm happy to answer. If you've never been to Israel, I would suggest not to Never go to Israel! It's a racist apartheid state! I'm right. willing to pack this sign, you know what, rip this sign and sit with this girl to solve those issues right here in the bench. Would, would you do it? You, you would never sit with me? Particularly right now, your messaging makes a lot of students on this campus feel yeah. unsafe and unwelcome. Okay, no problem. Hey, you can deflect as much as you want. I'm not deflecting. Thank you. Goodbye, you, you don't want to speak more. What I'm talking about is the rise of anti-Semitism. But not because of Israel. Not Largely because of Israel. No. You don't support the existence of Israel? No, I don't. It's serious. It is Palestine and there were Palestinian people there first. What do you think about Hamas then? I'm sorry, I really have to go okay. I'm gonna choke okay. on. I'm in favor of a one-side yeah, solution. I think Palestinians should have rights. I think they should have uh, the right of return. I think there are, there's a lot of human rights violations going on in Israel. Are you just here like to provoke people? Like, no, we're not to what, provoke you. If you put up a sign of children and say, stop funding terrorists, that's that's pretty provocative. Oh, exactly. Why are you putting no. me on the spot? This is ridiculous. Not, this is ridiculous. I'm Why are you putting to you? me on the spot? Why are you screaming at me? Why I'm not because me? you're making me angry. I'm frustrated. You're frustrated. Can you like? This it's is a, exactly because I'm Israelis saying, are so like, you know they're chilling out while the Palestinians are frustrated because they you can't even hear or listen to what we're I'm saying. I'm listening to you right now. I'm just saying like, speak calmly. We can't say you know there are a lot of signs around us that might offend us. When we start screaming about every sign that offends us. We're going to try and have a conversation with people. What about the apartheid wall? Well, for me, you know, you define it as an apartheid wall. Yeah, you see? Yeah. I define yeah. it different. I define yeah. it as a security wall. So I'll rather take my right to live than someone else's right to be comfortable. So and I believe like that, anyone would say that. No, that's true. Thank well, you for nice talking to me. Well, nice to meet you. Of course. Yeah, thank thank you. you for stopping by. I'm talking about the Fogel, the Fogel family, for example. Two 17, not 17 or like 19 year old Palestinians. I don't even know, those kids should have been in the university or in school. Went into Except the they house. Can't because Israel doesn't no, they can be in school. There is okay. a lot of universities in the West Bank. There is Grisite University. There is a lot of education no, systems Israeli. in the West. What? I'm talking about the Palestinian University. Yeah, because how can they go there if there if there are people or soldiers who are blocking them there's, who are not allowing no them to go? Who are checking them every time they have a backpack because oh so you they know have what? A, because they you can't go to school, them. because you can't go to school, would you go and kill a two-month-old baby? That's not a reason. That's not justifying. Those two are in jail right now. Right? They're getting money paid to their families for them killing people. Is that a problem or that's not a problem? I believe it's a problem. Right? If you don't think that's a problem, what is your opinion on colonialism? The Palestinians are going to come up, going to come to the conclusion that Israel is not going to go anywhere. We'll be able to have a better future together. Unless their mind doesn't switch on that, it's going to be problematic. I want to be strong. Being strong and being oppressed doesn't mean the same thing. I wish that the Palestinian leadership would think a little bit different. But the problem, the Palestinian leadership is divided between two camps too. Palestinians 
uh, Israelis, Jews, Muslims, Arabs, Christians, you know, it's an incredible melting pot. People do generally get along there and interact with each other on a daily basis. And I don't think that that's something that people really recognize when they think about Israel. I mean, not just for someone like me who's privileged to live in, you know, in Hanover, in Washington, D.C., in the United States, where, you know, Jews are respected, generally speaking. Um, for you know my fellow Jewish community abroad, where you know it may not be as safe to be a Jew and you may face serious issues, it's you know incredible to have that place that you can always consider your homeland. Jews are indigenous to Judea. Um, there is there are like undeniable historical claims to the land, um, and I think that um, nations should have national sovereignty. One of your preconditions on statehood should not be that another group of people should be destroyed. I think that's maybe a bad approach. I do believe that um, the two biggest uh, obstacles, they are on the Palestinian side. There are uh, terrorism and um, hardline stances against Israel's right to exist. I think that if people really want to know what it's like or what the situation is like in Israel, that they would travel to Israel yeah. and actually talk to people there or talk to people that have immigrated from Israel or from Palestine and get yeah. to know them better. You're probably the first Palestinian I can speak to today. I'm, I am willing to have a conversation. Okay. This is the best conversation I've yeah. also had the whole day. I can we'll have better ones, don't worry. <laughs> of course. Well, yeah. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you. This week, we covered a lot of ground, and we had eye-opening conversations. Some were positive, some were negative, but we found out what students at the top universities in the country have to say about the state of Israel. One thing is known, that we must continue in strengthening the relationship between the state of Israel and our students, and this is what Student Supporting Israel was established for.